morning y'all it's me real and i'm back with another video good morning it's january 5th the kids first day back at school my kitten is having surgery today i had to get up at 5 40 this morning i didn't get out of the bed until like 6 though y'all to get him to his appointment at 6 45 i'm exhausted Just leaving Walmart. I just went in and got some things from groceries and then some things for the kitten. I'm trying to make sure my phone don't turn me off. Right now I'm on my way to PetSmart to go see if they have these kennels for $20. I'm about to just purchase one because he's gonna need to be inside of the kennel for like a few days. Aside from eating, he gonna have to get, you know, right back into the kennel. He can't play or hop around or do too much for seven days after his surgery. I don't even know how I feel today. I really don't. I feel really calm, but I also feel kind of sad. It's 9.17, I have a doctor's appointment at 11. So excited about that because y'all, my arthritis has been, I've had it up to here with my arthritis. <laughs> y'all so i just pulled up this is my breakfast i'm wearing two masks y'all i also have shoes i also have some shoes to take back and this pet travel carrier i was just in walmart and i could have took it back then but customer service was closed so i had to find time today to go back and take it and then i also have to get all these groceries out of the car they are literally everywhere back there it don't look like a lot, but it is. <sighs> Let's go inside and see what they have. To make sure I... I had to make sure I locked my door. Let's see. Nine to nine. Okay. This door look closed, but... Whatever. Hello. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here. This is so cute. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful. Would you take me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do, because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing. y'all it has been a couple of hours <laughs> since i left the doctor's office i was there from 10 50 until like 1 p.m i had to go get i had to try to rest up a little bit not rest up i just kind of sat in a car in front of my apartments and then i went to go get my son that way i can come back home and get a little bit of rest before i have to go get the other boy i'm on my way to pick up Ryder. If you don't know who Ryder is, go ahead and watch my previous videos. Um, he made his debut in them. I am not feeling my best right now. Turn this air off. I'm not feeling my best right now, y'all. I'm, I'm trying really hard not to be sad because my relationship ended and it was something that I was looking forward to in 2022. Like the relationship, um, Ending the relationship is something I was looking forward to in 2022. 
but I'm forced to get to a place where I just accept everything and just move past it. My little heart hurts, so. But anyways, y'all didn't come here for that. Not sure why y'all came here, but if you are still here during this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, y'all. Help me boost my views. Help me boost my subscribers. Tell a friend, tell a friend, share with all your family because your girl is on to come up with this YouTube thing this year. I still have about 12 minutes to drive, so I guess I will just see y'all once I get my fur baby. So, I have him. Let me show y'all what he's doing after this neutering. Hold on. They said he's angry because of the anesthesia and he is going batshit crazy in there. baby it's okay she was like good luck with keeping him calm y'all his hand is his arm is all the way out it's making me nervous because i feel like he's stressing he's stressed out in there and i don't want him to be stressed out okay baby okay right right i never seen you act like this before Oh, he is angry, honey. He is fighting inside of that thing. Y'all, this is crazy. Anyways, maybe as I start driving, he'll calm down. If he doesn't, it's cool. He, he has been through a lot today. They put a microchip in his, um, they put a microchip in him. <laughs> they neutered him. And so he is just not in the mood honey he's not in the mood at all okay i don't know why neutering a kitten makes him go crazy like this he is growling <laughs> but i'm sorry y'all got a call yeah he is just not his normal self he was just so happy this morning he was so calm so chill and now baby he ready to claw somebody eyes out and it won't be mine it will not be mine i don't know if it's the box that he's in or if it's um the fact that he is coming off the rider anesthesia oh he didn't even do that that was the chair but yeah he is just not feeling it hopefully like i said as i ride this if not, um, we gonna have to see if he get out of this box. Cause he ain't finna get out of this box going crazy on me. I'm gonna have to, no, I'm just playing, but yeah. All right, y'all see y'all in a minute. Oh, he's calmed down now. I went and got my cat neutered and microchipped today. And if you can't tell, I am stressed. I think he's stressed. I am kind of slightly scared to let him come out of this kennel, or not this kennel, this cat carrier, because it's, he has been acting wild. Like a wild, do y'all hear him? Let me flip the camera and show y'all. Okay, he's inside of this cat carrier that they gave me at Petco. His name is not Opie, that's the name that he was given when I first got him, but his name is Ryder. So disregard that. I need a feel, by the way. But here he is inside of the box. He is very, very stressed, I think. I fed him inside of this because y'all, I am so scared to take him out. I have kids and I just don't want him to start going crazy. Like every time he reach out, he has claws and he's like this. I mean, he has his whole hand out of this thing, like reaching all the way out of it. Since I turned the camera on, he has calmed down a lot. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I had no idea what to expect at all. And I feel like tonight is going to be a very long night. I do have a very good sized apartment, but I'm going right. 
there's his little hand. I want to touch it so bad, but I just feel like, oh, hey, baby. Oh, y'all, you see, he is like not in the mood. Very angry. And it could be that he's inside of this box. So if he calmed down, y'all, I promise you, I will take him out. Look, I promise I will take him out. This is crazy because when I took him there this morning, he was not acting like this at all. Maybe I should let him out. Let's let's let him out. He's trying to open it. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, he is just a mess right now. Calm down, baby. I see blood, like little specks of blood in there, y'all. I don't think, let me tell you something. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this. He is very aggressive tonight. And I just don't know. I really want to put him in my bathroom, but. I know my kid, I only have one bathroom. So I'm trying, I'm really trying to figure this out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put him in my, in my son's room. Okay, so this is about the room, but this is him after surgery. Um, I have him in my son's room, but I'm about to get ready to move this out. And I'm about to put my son a new bed in here. Here's Ryder. He has tried to jump on me twice. Come here. Come here, baby. I don't know what it is, but um, there's his area. It's not bleeding or dripping or anything. It's just dried blood, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what this is on his foot, but he does not like it. I think that's where they had some tape on his foot or something. And he does not like it. I bought a broom in here so that I could sweep my son's room because clearly he does not do that. Let me see this. Thank you, baby. I bought this for him early. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna try to put it on him. See, I pretty much had to force it on him, but I'm gonna clean up this room and Hold on, let me show y'all. So this here. is the little area that I have his food and water. He made a mess. I have to put the cat mat under this. His bed and his litter box is all in this one corner right here. It's so the bell on his neck. Look at him. He hears the bell ringing. And it's <laughs> driving him crazy. He did use the restroom. He, he did pee pee twice. Oh my, be careful, baby. I think for now, you guys, and if you hear noise, that's my kids in the background, but I think for now, I'm just gonna take this off him. Well, guys, I ended up taking it off of him because it's just not the right time for that. Um, I'm just gonna sit it up here. But yeah, this is day one. My son's room looks so ridiculous. But this is day one after my kitten has been neutered i have been through the ringer i was actually scared to even let him come out of the crate because he was acting so erratic at first that it was scaring me for my children no 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 took me a couple uh, took me a minute to even let him out but i knew he had to use the restroom i knew he was hungry and so <clears throat> I let him out. He ate a lot. He ate a lot coming out of uh, coming out of the crate. He drank a lot. So I'm sorry. I'm trying to clean up this mess. But yeah. So this is day one, like I said. And I will come back tomorrow and let y'all know how this whole week process goes. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Moments later. Yesterday was a struggle, this morning was a struggle. Stressful situation. Um, last night, I played with him a little, you know, just something slight. I 
gave him lots of affection. I cuddled him. I, you know, pet him and stuff like that. I fed him. I made sure he had enough water. I went to sleep. I was exhausted. Woke up this morning. He had climbed up to the tippy top. I have my son's box spring set, set up against our wall because I'm about to rearrange his room and stuff. And he had climbed to the top of that. So as I'm walking into the room, he starts to act like he's about to jump down. And when I say this is at least like four feet off the ground or something, I panic. I'm like, no, 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 Ryder, don't jump. So I did end up helping him get down. And I'm like, Ryder, how did you, why did you even get up? Y'all, he, before I took him to um, get neutered, he was sleeping in his bed. He was perfectly fine with sleeping in his bed. He would come every time I call him and it would be on some like very, he would be calm. His body wouldn't be tense. Now, he does come when I call him, but he is very tense. He is very all over the place. He is very vocal now. He is, he has, he didn't sleep in his bed last night didn't sleep in his bed at all um y'all let me tell you right now just be aware that when you decide to get your cat neutered or spayed possibly i'm pretty sure definitely neutered it is a drastic change i don't even know who my kitten is anymore that's not my rider pool i don't know who he is he has literally changed and i'm gonna do a sit down video and tell you guys why i would never ever 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 purchase a kitten from this company again i'm finna give it to y'all blood raw in this next video um i'm gonna end this vlog right here if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and i will see y'all in my next video look at these bags on my Bye, besties.